Alrighty guys, welcome back to ARK where today, you may notice, I have a train. Now, I did try previously making an episode where we put together the train and actually built it, and this track that we're on, but unfortunately I lost my video. So today, just so that way I do have a recovered video out of this, I figured we would paint up the train and I would continue working on my line that I was working on in the episode that I lost heading towards Red Ob. So the plan is, is right now I have this little loop here that takes me up here towards uh, Green Ob, but more, more importantly, up here by where the oil in metal is. Now, this is a very helpful place, I'm not gonna lie. It is awesome being up here, but uh, sometimes we got, you know, some pests on the side of the tracks. That's luckily why I got this new uh, rifle that is actually mowing through them. And as you can see, Skittles is on the roof of one of the train cars and he's staying on pretty good. And if you're wondering how I built the train cars, um, I kind of tried to do my best to make them look like the ones from the Bob's Tall Tales. And I think I got them pretty damn accurate. Um, the only thing I need to do now is paint them up. And luckily, we can even, I've even uh, modified them a bit where I've added these little uh, quarter ceilings so that way like we can legit walk in between these tracks you would have to jump so and this car that we're here, here on right now this is our uh, utility car so you may notice I got two generators and up top I got a grinder and uh, I believe I also have some water tanks don't I I think I actually know I didn't put down the water tanks but I got some grow some uh, generators here. And the reason I have two is because uh, it's literally the very tippy tippy ends are uh, cut off. This here is meant to be a dino storage but I could not fit any of the dinos I have in here. Um, and then this one back here is my workshop. And then this is gonna be the scary part but this is my uh, this is the end of the car. And as you can see I have a railing. I've also walked back out there on that end, it just walked off, left it that way, and proceeded to uh, get yoinked by Arc Physics. And, uh, sorry, you gotta be careful though on there on uh, ups and downs, especially during the transitions, because you can uh, fall through sometimes. Okay, we're good. Boom. We're on the train, and that is how it's done. I love this train though. I worked really hard building it. As you can see, we got all five cars set up and the engine. I'm really mad I lost my video on us putting this thing together. I mean, that was a really fun time. As you can see though, uh, I got a grinder there on that middle car, on that utility car we have. But yeah, so we're back to base now. This is just uh, the short loop I have here up and over there to the oil. Um, we are going to be making a very long loop because I want to loop all the way over to Red Ob, up and around the mountains, or over one of the mountains at least, and then over to, gr uh, not Green Ob, uh, over to Blue Ob, and then back around. As you can see here, I already have a connection point set up there. Luckily for us, we do uh, have a nice little stop feature where if there's anything in the way, the train just stops. So, we're going to pull this one this into base now. Once I have it all the way into base here, we'll stop. There we go. Now we're in the base. So what I would like to do here first before I go and continue working on the line that we have cuz you we're now we're now heading down the new line. So the one we just wear on is this one here that branches off. Oh, don't fall! And this is the one that branches off. Heads that way. Now there is one now new security issue with my base. This is technically a bridge and creatures can cross it. I had a terror bird chase me across it. And uh, then that's our new line. As you can see there, uh, the pillars, I, I just did wood pillars. And there's a lot of them. I mean, I've probably gone through a good 600 wood pillars since I started this project. Um, but originally, I was doing that. I was making nice, fancy bridges. Now, that was quite time-consuming. I'm not going to lie. This is not... <gasps> 
I full, full on just thought I launched myself off. That's what the that noise was for. But ugh, I I do have a way up here to get two Skittles so I can access him. Also, I have gotten in a bad habit of shutting all these doors. But boom, we hop up here and then we hop over and then boom, and we go. But yeah, see, we got these fancy ones and uh I did try to do these for a little bit. So, uh, as you can see here, these ones all have it, and then the vi like that next. I got two very long bridges over here. Also, we got a, a lot of flyers around the base. But as you can see here again, they're still going even up over here, where I'm doing the fancy ones. And then for some reason, these tracks over here could just float, and they didn't need pillars. I think it was just because of how close they are. Then I got down here and I made it a, a executive decision because I want like if you've ever seen like some of those old western movies they got them big uh like wooden bridges that run across I wanted one of those. I ended up with two and one of them legit looks like a roller coaster. So but yeah, like here I made an executive decision that we're just going to go with wood. We we don't have to make the tracks look fancy. All right? And I also am planning on making that train into a base, so yay. But that doesn't mean we're abandoning this base here. This is going to become our farm base, so I'm going to set up, again, we got the crops going, but I'm going to set up an egg farm here, the polymer and cementing paste, and of course. And then uh, over here where the train's parked right now, I might set up a train station, but yeah. As for now, I think it's time to get painting. Okay, so we're getting these all painted up here. I do believe I have figured out the right ones for the outside, right? Yes. So I'm painting up all these uh, enclosed cars red. Also, for some reason here at the base, I'm getting a lot of lag, especially while looking at the train. So... I don't know what's up. Okay, so I think I got all the cars the colors I want. So here for my creature car, I've painted it yellow. And then here for the utility car, I've painted it yellow. I've painted this one green, this one yellow. Sorry, I just realized I flipped that. And then these other like full cars, uh, I've painted them red. Just because I figured that that is the color that they used in the trailer. And it actually kind of looks really good. So... Yeah. Okay, so now what I have done is I've gone around and... Ooh, I fell off the roof. What I've gone and those railings that I have placed around the side of the big cars here, or the cars with roofs here, including the green one, I have gone and made them my... Uh, what is it called? Gold, I believe is what the color is. This one gold? Yeah, my gold coloring. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back around and all these roofs are going to be painted solid black. So, let's get busy. That includes these parts up here too. Alrighty, so my first two cars there on that side are done. Got them solid black. Now we got to go over here. And of course because I climbed on the ladder it's going to make me redo all these. And now all these become solid black. Okay, so we got all the roofs all painted. So now what we're doing is we're going around and we're painting. Ooh, I fell. I keep falling off the roof here. Also, that's the slowest way back. But we're painting these, those little railings there. So, ooh, that's the wrong thing. Now, luckily, I got soap. There we go. And then, and, and then. Oh, it's all already selected. I thought I would have to reselect for some reason. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Alrighty. So we got those all painted up gold. It's looking really nice, the roof. I ain't gonna lie. We also just had a sandstorm pass over us, so I had to wait a minute. So, what we're gonna do now that we got the train all painted up is. I want to pack up some creatures, but I don't have my cryo fridge. Uh, 
I should probably invest in one of those. I think I have the stuff for a cryo fridge. I'm gonna, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna quickly go run to one of the obelisks and craft a cryo fridge. Okay, so we're back. Um, where is, I think she's over there. So the ones that we're gonna pack up is beaver, anki, blossom, and then skittles. So we have a flyer, we have two gatherers, and then we have what technically can be a multi-purpose. But it's going to be for defense. So Skittles. Also, the best thing about these trains as well, if you just run up to any car, hit E. It teleports you right to the engine. Also, I almost ran straight off there. This is going to make... Yeah, so I don't have to run all the way around. I know, I'm lazy. I'm a lazy guy. I like using my creatures, so that way I don't have to work as hard. Okay, I got them all my guys. Boom, let's go. I wonder, can I place anything up on this? No, you can't place anything on the actual train. But, that doesn't mean I can't place it right there. Damn, it's perfect. So I can throw all my cryopods in here. Now, I did just land Skittles right up there. So, um, I'm wondering... Should I just get some lat now? Because now I have that there and it's going to look weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the train on. We're going to go. We're going to go down here to the end of this line. Now, I did already build quite a bit on this. It is already like eh, a third of the way there. So but I wanted to show you guys the ride. This one's actually like the smoothest track so far. It's all bridge though. But it's only pillared on one side, so... I guess technically if anything attacks the pillars I could have a spot in the bridge that collapses also the nice thing about this train is is that like you got this entire platform all the way around that you can walk on it is awesome we uh, in the town I live in there used to I think there even still is there's an old actual train engine like this that they have that we used to go play on and hang our hang out on when we were when I was younger so Okay, so we've hit the end of the line now, I believe. And what I need to do is, I believe it's a tree that's in our way, correct? Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. Maybe it is, because I can still probably get up on my train. Yeah, I can. It was not bad at all. I've had a lot worse. So... What we'll do is, just because it's this tree that's obstructing us, and I know I can hit it, we'll do it. Oh, I did it again. Here, we'll just get rid of the tree, and then we'll go. Something's going to attack me, though, while I'm, get, while I'm getting the tree. Oh, I know it. That's why I got the gun out. I know something's going to try it. They always do. So now we'll creep the train up further. We're going to hit another tree watch. Yep. Same thing. So the way I had to fix this last time was I actually had to go round, chop down the trees. Because I've had this happen before when I was originally placing down the tracks. I had to go place down pillars exactly where the trees were to prevent them from spawning more. Uh, you know, more trees in that spot so boom oh, shoot sometimes you can kind of okay they spotted me Am I still? Nope, I'm not. Okay. I could claim those. Why am I shooting them? Could have claimed that. Ah, uh, I won't. I don't, I'm not worried about them. Okay. I do believe that's now connected. Right? Yep. Boom. Boom. And then we'll just keep working down the track here. This is legit how I've been doing it.
I think it's just shy. It might be. Oh, no, it's not. We can go. I got it. It hit the ground. If I got it placed there. I didn't. That means I gotta run back. I gotta get Skittles. Ooh. You know what I'll do here as well? Move closer. Ooh. We'll move the train forward. There we go. Yeah, I should definitely get other ladders just so that way. When I my guy landed up here. Okay. There we go. Then we'll just do it this way. Where we have my man there. So that way if I have it happen again, he's already down for me to go run over and get him. Okay, so we got this suspended part here done. Yeah, I got it connected over there and starting to go up the hill. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back here, get the train, advance it forward. This is just that way I've been doing it is slowly moving along, building the tracks, moving the trains along as I go. The way, the way they did it in the olden times. You know? Can I land you up here? No, I can't. Can I land you here? I can no, I can't. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to. And now, boom. We'll just land you up here. And, oh, no. You know what I'll do? I do got spare cryopods. May as well use them. Okay, so I got Skittles in a cryopod. We're advancing the train forward now. like I am going to have some nuisance creatures I'm going to have to deal with. There we go. Now, oh. I don't think I'm able to do the rails. Uh oh. Uh, we might have to back the train off here a bit. Right there's good. So then what we'll do. Oh, okay, we got lucky. We got lucky. It was just the train engine. The engine broke. I thought I just lost the entire train. I actually got, I don't worry. I got a fix for this. I know for a fact I have enough for another train engine. So we need to head that way. And then I'm pretty sure it's, what does it say? No nearby foundation? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and get as much. I don't know what to do here, actually. I think I have to go, I have to get an engine attached so I can back this up even more. Okay, so I'm back. I got my engine, and I wonder, is it just, do I have to go to this, and then, do I not have, a... oh, I didn't bring it with me. Okay, guys, so now I think I got a different problem. I don't know how to attach it. Do I just back it up and it attaches? Um, boom? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, can I dis detach car? Oh, 
Oh my god, you can. I just now learned that. That is awesome. I did not know that. Doom, E, attach. So, what we gotta do here is... Oh, I know what I did. They're all the attached now, aren't they? I gotta attach each and every one individually. Oh, okay. Okay. So now can I back up? I can. I can back it off. There we go. We'll stop there after the pillar. So that way there's no more accidents. Okay, so we were able to back the tracks up, pick up the ones that we didn't need. Problem is here is that this incline is steep and uh, the incline for the tracks isn't as steep. So we do got a bit of a problem where it's trying to... Uh, match we may oh you know what we have to keep on going up on an incline we have to get up over this cliff so boom there we go um do I still keep going up? I don't think so. I think I try and start leveling out. Here on this next one. There we go. And I think that also helped me get a pillar up here so that way it's easier for me to. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, train's way down there. We're going to bring it up the hill. Okay, so what my goal is here is just to get as far with the tracks to towards Red Ob as I can. Um, I am starting to run out of tracks, though. The 50 that I had made was all I had. I'm waiting on more metal and cementing paste to get done. So that way I can make more tracks. But... I mean, we're making good progress. Look, we're getting kind of, we're getting really kind of close here. So what I want to do here is we're going to get up on this flat. We're going to kind of bend up and over towards that ruins. So what we got to do here is we got to hop out. We got to clear the rocks. Okay, so we're down to our last six here now. And we are doing pretty good. What I want to do is just... Boom. And then I'm just trying to get around this last little hump of dirt here. So that way we can uh, kind of see right off better. We're good to go straight. Requires foundation support. That's okay. We can do this. Now, does that count? Yes, it does. And that's it. We're out. That's all our tracks. So I'd say we made a really good progress today on the rail. This one... Alright, so you see... Uh, where's my binoculars? So the track that we started on, it goes up and over there. And up and around that little mound there, I believe. So... But yeah, that's where the other line runs. So our base, if I'm correct is back down oh i'm zoomed in so far i can't even see where i'm at okay so our base is back down over there on that cliff it's behind this mound right here it's like right in there that's where our main base is that's how far we've made it so how much further do we have to go um you know what? To Red Ob, I'd say we have another third to go, honestly, before we make it. And it looks like once I get up here, and if I try, 
I can probably have it make be a pretty good shot, and I can probably try and make it an elevated uh, railway. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to get my train back to uh, base here, and I'm honestly surprised that I didn't destroy the entire thing today when the engine blew up. I didn't know we could just decide to disattach a certain car. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to turn this thing into auto drive for me. That's the best part as well. You can just kind of turn this thing on and it goes. Also, I found out why the game was lagging so bad. Um, if you notice here, these things turn on even when they're turned off. So sometimes you'll have light coming out of them when they're not supposed to be. Come on. I can't get that one to turn off. This one's already turned off. It seems like it's just ones that are around sometimes. But yeah. Also, this is the only time it's safe to come and walk out here next to the railing and look back and watch where we're going backwards. Um, otherwise, if you're trying to ride back here and watch like as it's going backwards, the, sometimes the game will like jolt and you'll get sucked off the back railing and then you're stuck chasing after the train. But yeah. Anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today... Oh! There we go. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. We're getting sucked through the train. And I'm pretty sure it's because I was in K mode. So, yeah. Anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post. And lastly, this is the last thing I'm going to mention. Um... So we are currently running a YouTube uh, members goal. So we're currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members, $1.99. Once we reach that goal, we should be opening up an ARC server. But once we get closer to that goal, we'll talk more about what ARC map we're going to be picking out and all that. But yeah, anyways, it's been Gun Chai Mori, signing off. Peace.